my name is Ella and I'm currently my second year of master in cybersecurity at ETH. Ich bin Stefan Weber, studiere Cybersecurity an ETH hier im zweiten Semester. So, uh, my name is Kenny Patterson. I'm a professor of computer science here at ETH. And my uh, specialist area of research is cryptography. And my group focuses a lot on applied cryptography. Mein Name ist Ladina Roffler. Ähm, ich studiere jetzt seit einem Jahr Cybersecurity an der ETH. I'm Ardown. I'm from the Netherlands. And that's also where I studied for my bachelor degree. I'm now studying cybersecurity at ETH and I'm in my last year. I'm Shweta Shinde. I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Computer Science. My main area of research interest is system security. I specialize mostly in trusted execution environments. So uh, my name is uh, Jordi Suda. I uh, come from uh, Barcelona, Spain. I came here to Switzerland two years ago. Long, a bit uh, longer than two years ago to uh, do my uh, master's in cybersecurity, which I finished uh, some months ago. I knew I wanted to specialize in the field and not keep going only with computer science. So I just thought about which course did I like during my bachelor's, right? And I really enjoyed everything related to cybersecurity, such as cryptography, uh, privacy or networking and this is basically everything you find in this master in cybersecurity. Some friends that I met during the bachelor they are actually from Switzerland and they told me about ETH and how it's uh, a well-known school in Switzerland and the world and when I looked at uh, masters I kind of had that in the back of my mind and I thought well it seems like a like a cool school. A lot of uh, new things keep happening, so it's always refreshing to come to your office and look at a new problem. Um, it also allows me uh, for the opportunity to collaborate across areas. Uh, so most of the time security problems um, rely on understanding of adjacent areas such as uh, systems or programming languages or architecture. Um, and lastly, uh, the kind of security research I do has a lot of uh, collaborations uh, with industry. So it's very nice to see uh, some of the attacks and defenses that we do in our research lab um, out there uh, getting applied in the real world. A cybersecurity reizt mir besonders, dass es so omnipräsent ist, dass es so aktuell ist und eigentlich so interdisziplinär, also dass es überall gebraucht wird und eigentlich überall ein Thema ist. It's a golden age in which to be a cryptographer. So 20 years ago maybe, uh, cryptography was used a little bit to protect web communications and mobile communications and maybe some banking. But these days cryptography is really everywhere in our everyday life. Especially in the news, I keep seeing cybersecurity pop up again and again um, for not so good reason. So that's why I think it's going to be a, a very important field, even more going forward. I just keep reading about it. And also when I look at um, job openings, and they always mention like cybersecurity because it's such a, a vital part of, of industry. It is going more and more important at every level because now it's everywhere, right? Everyone who is using their laptop are basically aware of security maybe issues or they are concerned about it. You hear concern about the people, about security in the everyday world. Uh, back in the day, only experts used to use computer systems, but now everyone uh, has a mobile phone, uses e-banking to access their financial records, uh, and most probably uses social media uh, to interact with other people. Uh, so the more data we put out there, uh, the more is the risk of getting attacked. Um, it has also become challenging to adapt security to a lot of these diverse uh, deployment scenarios. Um, and so I would say there's always an increasing demand of, uh, uh, of people who are experts in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a joint master. That means you do one semester at the EPFL. And that's what I did last semester. It was a very cool experience. Es ist eigentlich problemlos, um das alles zu organisieren, weil du kommst finanzielle Unterstützung über und sie schauen auch, dass du eine garantierte Wohnung hast. They get to explore research topics across both the institutions uh, and they get a chance to work with students across both the institutions. 
Um, I think you need to come with an open mind and ready to, to, to study hard, but also to enjoy yourself during the program. I don't think there are particular skills demanding other than a lot of commitment. After the, the basic skills that you have from computer science, it's just hard work and you just have to want to make it and, you know, just push yourself and do it. I think locally, obviously, there's the banking and finance sector in Zurich. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities in the insurance sector, in the government sector, but of course in tech. So again, in Zurich and around, there's a lot of high-tech companies. I think, for example, Google and companies like that are major employers of our graduates. Zurich is a, like an IT hub, so you have uh, a lot of companies interested in, in IT in general, and especially, I would say, in cybersecurity. There's a lot of fachkräfte. Von dem her ist, lohnt sich das Studium auch ähm, mit dem Ausblick auf nach dem Studium, was, was dann läuft. We have a very rich uh, set of research opportunities uh, at ETH. So a lot of students also either continue as uh, research assistants or take up a PhD program or decide to explore some of the ideas they had during their master studies and do their own startup. If you're interested in cybersecurity, I would 100% recommend it. You will learn so much. Um, you get out of this and you feel ready, you feel prepared, that you learned enough. They give you amazing course choice with amazing professor. You know, they're the best in their field and they know what they're teaching you. The two institutions are world class. We have some of the very best people in the world who are doing cutting edge research in cybersecurity. And I think that really comes through into the classrooms. 